You're good, brother. I ain't going nowhere. Don't worry, guys of the internet, I'm harnessed in. How's it going? Steven Harmon, nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Listen, Steven, just real quick. The reason okay. I'm here isn't necessarily because I saw anything or anything okay. like that. I don't know if you're familiar with what's known as a sea target. That's just me, I just have to show you why. Okay. But basically, a sea target, I think it's the University of Tennessee that grabs every suspected ongoing construction project yeah. in the US. And they, I don't know how they collaborate, but basically they randomly say, uh, our office randomly selects. Right send us out here okay um well, well i guess what do you what do you need yeah uh, well so or, part of the inspection process is to just get some basic company information right i can probably hash that out with you real quick yeah yeah uh power construction service yes sir yep on the door and everything i'm pretty sure this is going to be pretty quick are these the only guys you've got on your crew right uh now? out here on woodrow wilson yes sir That's yeah. So the jobs or the project, I'm pretty sure, is specific to the Woodrow Wilson. Okay. Damn, so cool. Yeah. We're looking basically at this small square. Yeah, I'm with you, for sure. And, you know, I'll be honest with you, typically when they give me these road settings or improvements, right. I don't expect to find you guys because. I don't know how long it'll take. Yeah, you. right. Just like hours and everything like that. Yeah. You'd just well, be popping up a lot. Not just that, but I don't know how long the project will take. Yeah, I'm Maybe with you. Maybe it's just my ignorance, but I think it'd be pretty quick. I guess it depends on how many. Yeah, issues. it all depends on really the issues around here in Jackson. There's just constant issues, so <laughs> yeah. it's kind of. I live stuff. in Jackson. So yeah. I'm aware of all locates and everything has been got off on here they, they had an undiscoverable gas line at one point wanted like an extra week or two to oh, find great. it Thanks, guys. uh water lines all they're doing is just like ma marking the tops of the manholes and stuff and not even the direction the pipes are going so well they probably it? don't know okay? they, yeah they don't they don't situation. i'm not surprised that <laughs> a, a mix up there glad to hear that so <laughs> this this crew at the very least is just working up and down river wilson yes sir yep And what's the uh, mailing address for the company? Oh, uh, give you. Let me try to look it up real quick. Yeah. And that's a good phone number for the company? Either or? or yeah, either one. On. Either one. How many employees does Powell have overall, more or less? Ah, uh, man, a dozen. May, may be exaggerating it a little bit at this point. What? We try to keep around 12 to 15. Right now we're kind of on the lower side of that, but I exact number about we're, we're 12, yeah maybe. about twelve would be good to put on there. Three, nine, five, six, five. Yes, sir. You said your name was Steve, right? Steven, yes, sir. Steven Harmon. Oh. Yep. H A R M O N. Yeah. You're for him? Yes, sir. Uh, you or you guys a member of a union? Uh, no, sir. Uh -huh. Just got to ask. So yep. a couple little um, disclaimers I've got to give you. As part of this inspection, I'll be taking some pictures. Okay. So that I didn't have to ask. I was going to ask, is there anything trade secret or confidential we have to worry about? Uh, not on here. Uh -huh. Yeah, you won't be going through, like, documents or plans or anything, so okay. not specifically. Besides taking pictures, I'll also be doing some employee interviews. Okay. I'll say some, but there's three of you. So yeah, I that's to for the most part, yeah. Um, those interviews are private and confidential on okay. a one-to-one -one basis. The only other thing is um, your employer can't retaliate against you or any of the employees. Right, yeah, yeah. Probably suspect that. that kind of covers the, the general details. Yeah. So one thing that I might ask for by email later, because I don't think you'll have them on site. I'm really not sure if you're required to keep them as the, due to the company size, but the OSHA logs. Right. Um, that might be something that, that I'll call for. The OSHA log, all it is, is a, a log of the injuries. Oh, our so, injury claims have like, so, yeah, so yeah. All, uh, you know, you're not responsible for that. Right, That's, yeah. You might have to report it initially, but I... Yeah, we do. I mean, accident, like good accidents or whatever. Yeah. If something happens, we we keep accident logs and stuff yeah. like that. But yeah, I'm I'll, with you. I'll just call. Is that something that the yeah, they they would. I wouldn't right. have any anything really to help you out with on that uh, end. That so. I understand. Well. Um, but really, that's it as, as far as company information. 
because the only other thing is you can call your tax ID and all that. Yeah, and you can get with them and they'll figure that out. I don't even want to know all that, you know, <laughs> with their stuff. Hey, I'm right so. there with you if you don't need to know it. Yeah, yeah, they uh, already have to deal with too much crap, so I ain't, ain't trying to do more. Uh, no, nah, I wasn't supposed to, but our, our inspectors pop out every now and again. How's it going? Man, it is going. Doing all right? Man, I'm doing. doing what all y'all got going on today? Uh, yeah, we're going to be grounding out uh, this cabinet form, hopefully the power pedestal, and then start working on the pool boxes and everything okay. here and uh, get that moving a little bit. So, Where have y'all got time to it? Uh, board or pools already so on this job right now specifically this three inch shooting across and then underneath and going to the other island that is the three inch it, yeah that's all the bores that so jimmy's far, done yeah. so far yeah he's got a bunch of two inch that he's got to come back to but he it's going to be in worse areas he has to get with like atmos i want to say as yeah. he come in that most dude was even trying to talk about a back truck which yeah. that ain't gonna happen i can't yeah. see that happening. Uh, the bad thing I hear water, sewer, they don't have a sewer there. They seem to know something about the gas yeah, lines the at least. Well, no, the water and sewer, yeah. out of the question, man. That's if we, usually pretty good yeah, right yeah, I'm about to say, at most, they, they seem to have water. an understanding of their gas stuff water, with the water. Well, I think we got water out there somewhere. But do you think you'll be doing any more boring this week or? I would hope week? so. I'm going to get with Jimmy today and see when his plans are coming back up yeah. and everything because he, he had to cut it short last week. He had yeah. to be on a different project on like Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah. Uh, so I know the three inch here is what he got done and then El Dorado, a project over there we're doing, he got that done yeah. last. And he can be a hard one to sometimes get back on site. Yeah. So I need to- Well, I'm glad he was able to use that B concrete mix yesterday too. And so yeah, that, that worked out that even better too. Thought, you want to do like a questionnaire to one of the guys now or? Yeah, I'll probably just get to that out of the way real quick. Uh, but before I go there, how long have you guys been working on, on Woodrow Wilson more or less? Uh, about a month, about I'd a say. Month. And how much longer do you think you got to go? I know that probably. Well, it's equipment to... things, man. And so once we can like stop What's time on the job, well, equipment don't even come in until April. So it's, but we're going to be it's stopping be in the next like month. We're going to be stopping pretty much on this job altogether. And then when equipment comes back in April, we'll be back to actually work on it again. Okay. Uh, that's just how a lot of the signal stuff and electrical electronics and stuff have been going lately ever since COVID. It's year long lead times on crap. Like you use your foundation, your conduit, work, yeah. everything prepped up for it. And then yeah, it yeah. You stop and wait for it. It's been driving me crazy too. No, no, I was jacking off a minute ago. I was going to lay out yeah. stuff. He may be able to answer some more questions for <laughs> Austin, he's, he's with OSHA. Okay. Um, but they're the firm over, over the project, Stan okay. Tech is. Yeah. Have you got like project questions or whatever that I may not be able to answer for you? No, really. Uh, as, as far as uh, my goal here is really to just see what you guys specifically are doing okay. when I get here. Okay. So, Damn. Should be, four. should be pretty, pretty easy day. Yeah, cut and dry and everything. Yeah, we pretty much digging up this little area for now yeah. and grounding out everything. You found the one inch. Yeah. Going out with the other pipes. Probably, probably was a foot deep or something deeper than the cabinet, yeah. maybe. If you leave it open for lunch or whatever, we can put just some cones and caution tape around it and uh, and y'all go eat. But just make sure the, again, the ground rods are up, trash is up, hammer drill and extension cord and everything is inside the cabinet. Uh, yeah, for the most part, just a lot of people like to steal stuff around here. So don't wanna leave that out, especially if it's shiny and that color. I really don't know if you require it or if it's required since you guys really aren't <laughs> on the road. So. Yep. Do you have a traffic control plan or anything like that? Oh, uh, we should in our plans. Also, traffic control supervisor, super, are certified and everything too. I can look in our plans and see if 
it's a layout on this project. Now we usually just kind of copy and bail on the intersections yeah, I mean, is easy thing too. That's sense here. Yeah. yeah. You're a couple. You're working a couple feet away from the road, so I wasn't really sure if that's something. That uh on this area we're so far off the road and everything not as much but when we do like lane closures and stuff obviously we do the the full setup i'll tell you what season. let's see what i can find on it on the plans it has yeah i mean it shows like this traffic control plan diagram the, the signages for it tapers and cones I think that's, that's and then i do have a copy of the mutcd and everything in the truck too so any questions stuff Is like that, 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 that you could email me uh when you call them on there they can the office okay. people would make it easier and everything I i'll let them handle that stuff sure no that's fine okay i'll go ahead and do that later but that's really all i need okay uh, yeah, there's not much going on so yeah so some awesome. days there, there's a lot you know when we actually get poles in and everything it would be but every, every day you work is a work day so yeah i'm gonna right. happen and then we'll we'll be here at night or something like that at that point when poles are in and stuff so well watch yeah. out for the for the night fires. yeah i was out here one of the nights a, a couple weeks ago we were running spans and uh the capitol police they were just sitting around us the whole time doing u-turns and just pulling people over they would they would go through the intersection Man. What, what they would pull them over for beyond me people were you know using the lights as needed and everything and they would just turn around and pull them over and about it yes sir yes sir yep you as well take care buddy